in naming alkenes we have to use IUPC nomenclature rules similar to alkanes. In the numbering of carbon in alkenes, number the carbon atoms from that end which is nearest to carbon carbon double bond. In this molecule, we must start the numbering from the left hand side. So this will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Here total number of carbon atoms are 8. So the basic name will become oct. In case of alkanes, we generally end up with A and E. But in case of alkenes, this should be replaced by E and E. It means that at the end of the IUPC name of alkene, we must write E and E. Now here, the position of the carbon-carbon double bond should reflect in the IUPC name. So this will come before the suffix E and E. So this will become oct to E and E. So IUPC name for this compound will become oct to E. Let me draw the another example like this. I will put two carbon-carbon double bonds at this position. Now while giving the IUPC name as well as the numbering, we have to take precaution about the position of the carbon-carbon double bonds. Here both the double bonds are equidistant from left hand side as well as right hand side. So from any side we can give the numbering. So let us start from left hand side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So again here total number of carbon atoms are 8. So while writing the IUPC name, again we have to take care about the position of the double bonds. So IUPC name for such type of alkadines will become octa 2 comma 6. Here carbon carbon double bonds are 2. So we must write di as a prefix and then it will end up with e and e. So IUPC name for this molecule will become octa 2 6 diene. Now let us have the cyclic alkenes. Let me draw the molecule like this. We have carbon carbon double bond and let me put one substituent over here. In cyclic alkenes, we can give the numbering in clockwise direction as well as in anticlockwise direction. If we start in a clockwise direction, so this will become 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this methyl substituent will come at position number 5. And if you start in anticlockwise direction, so this will become 1, 2, 3. So let me write that. So this is 1, 2 and 3. It means that this methyl substituent is coming at position number 3 and that will be the correct numbering. So, when we are writing the IUPC name of such type of cyclic alkenes, at that time we must write cyclo. Here total number of carbon atoms are 5, so this will become cyclopentene. Here carbon-carbon double bond is present at position number 1, so no need to write 1. Here substituent is present at position number 3, so we must write 3 methyl, 3 methyl cyclopentene. So let us take the another cyclic compound like this. So we have double bond over here. Let me put the substituent over here and here. 
Now in this molecule, when we are giving the numbering at that time, again we can give the numbering from left hand side, sorry, in the clockwise direction as well as anti-clockwise direction. So if you start the numbering in clockwise direction, so this will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And if we start the in anti-clockwise direction, so this will become 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So Mitchell group will come at position number 5. So that is against the IUPAC nomenclature system. So this is the correct numbering we write in this molecule. When we are writing the IUPAC name at that time, the total number of carbon atoms are 6. So this will become cyclo. Hexene. Here we have two substituents at position number 3 as well as 4. So this will become 3, 4 dimethyl cyclohexene.